Welcome, welcome everybody here at Leila Life in Puerto Rico. That's right, guys. I'm so excited because I'm lucky to be here. Not only that, I just find this amazing singer, popular, super cool, next to me, Odette Dia. How are you today? I'm great. Very happy to be with you, Leila. <laughs> me too. <laughs> so beautiful. So many years and I'll see you. So, Odette, tell me a little bit more. What are you promoting? What is your last single that you're promoting right now? Tell me everything at once because we all want to hear about it. Well, I'm launching, or I just, just launched, my single, Bajo el Mismo Cielo. It's a song that blends a lot of instruments like pop rock, fusion with the flutes of American Native. And it brings some beautiful message about unity because of these times that we're living. We all under the same sky. That's the meaning of the song, Bajo el Mismo Cielo. So there's a music video on YouTube and also on Spotify. So that's my, my most recent single. What is the biggest challenge to be in your in your life and your being a singer? Well, there's many uh, challenges, especially when you're doing things on your own as an independent artist, and also when you're trying to do something different. Like me, I like to fusion and bring different sounds together and try to bring that message as well that is also not as common or pop as is in fashion, but it has a lot to go with the, with the sounds that are legit, that are organic. So that's one of the challenges. So if you had to choose something in life to be happy, what do you be choose? Something in life. Well, obviously I love to be a songwriter because it brings a message. It's an opportunity of expression, especially for females these days, to be a musician and to do things on your own shows a lot of courage. And we all in the music business and in art itself, we have to be very persuasive and very pushy and very um, self-esteem. Hi. Hi, Sevastin, pretty much. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. Translating. <laughs> I love it. So before we go, I, I want to ask you, do you really like to be a mentor for all the young singers that want to be like you, that want to follow your, your saints uh, ways in life? Of course. Being a mentor is one of the most uh, beautiful things that one can do, especially with art. Female artists or artists in general they have to really believe in their art, they have to do it with passion, but also educate themselves. Because if you really want to do something professional, you have to train yourself to be at that level. And sometimes we think, oh, I got to do this certain style because it's just a fashion. But you have to be legit and find where is your need, where are the things that you think that you're great at, and expose that. That's the most important thing. I love it. I want to thank you so much for this interview. How is living in Puerto Rico? How do you like it? Oh my God, I love living in an island, especially going to the beach, feeling the nature, the breeze like you can see now here. Puerto Rico has a lot to offer and we welcome all of you to come and visit. <laughs> we love music. We love, you know, being very active. So you see Leila is it's so, I'm so grateful that you're here, you know, and I she's love enjoying it. it too. Bueno, thank you so much for this interview. Please say hi, everybody that's watching you over there. Give me your Instagram, where they can follow you, where we can get your music. Hi, everyone. Thank you for connecting with me. My name is Odette, and you can find you on Instagram, Odette Oficial, and also in YouTube. Spotify as well. So thank you so much. You're gonna love the music and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for being my show. And bueno guys, we'll continue here in Puerto Rico. Leila Life, guys, thank you.